Hello. What's up? It is sunny, and we don't know how long it's gonna stay like that. This week we're going to be working on our mini split. If you see behind us, in last week's video, Cody got everything prepped and ready for the mini split and then last night we hung all of the drywall and got the cord hole finished up. So literally all he has to do is install the mini split up there. But right now we're going to be working on AC disconnect. Yes. We're prepping to go do that. But before we get into the video, we have a sponsorship, which is Native. And I personally use Native every single day and love Native, swear by Native, have used Native way before this whole TikTok and YouTube journey. So let's talk about them. Hi guys, I figured we would hop into um, the bathroom because it is now easily my new favorite room in the house since it is almost done minus mud and painting fixtures and all of that good stuff. Like I was saying, today's video is sponsored by Native and I was extremely excited when they reached out because I switched over to Native about a year ago and I love them and swear by them. Native's new packaging is 100% plastic free and earth friendly. Native is aluminum free, paraben free, cruelty free and vegan. I personally switched over to them originally because I wanted an aluminum free deodorant and I started to look more in depth into what my products were using. So when I switched over, not only did I switch over just my deodorant, but I also switched over to body wash and our toothpaste. And Cody uses this too. And he loves it because it's charcoal. I personally use the eucalyptus scent every single day. It helps me stay refreshed and feeling clean. I take lavender with us when we travel, that's why she's all kind of beat up and stuff. We go on a lot of camping trips, we go on a lot of river trips, and having 24 hour odor protection is extremely important when you are constantly sweaty. And then I also have the coconut and vanilla, which smells so good, but I have not had the opportunity to use, so I'm really excited. One of these is gone, we will be switching over. Normally three plastic free deodorants would be $39, but if you use my code CANTCANTANUS, you'll get them for $26, which is 33% off, which is a great deal. Also with my code, you can get 20% off any bath wash or toothpaste and my favorite is the ginger lemonade cupcake it's so freaking fresh I love it but thank you to natives for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the HVAC system all right so the outside unit to the mini split will actually be on the back side of the house and let me show you so our goal is to raise up all of the dirt and then plant grass seed so it's a nice and level backyard there will be a wraparound porch that goes all the way around eventually, but for now we'll just do a staircase. And then prior to next winter, he will completely enclose and insulate underneath the house. Right now we're gonna install our AC disconnect box. That way, if we ever have to service the outside unit, we have a quick way to be able to disconnect power from it and ensure it stays disconnected while we're working on it. We have our hot wire going to our line side, our plain copper ground wire going to the equipment ground side, and then we will connect the hot side from the AC unit to this load side right here. This side won't be used. Uh, it's a 30 amp disconnect, so it's set up to have 220 if you so choose, but our uh, mini split only requires a 20 amp circuit, and you can't really find a 20 amp disconnect, or at least I couldn't, so this is what we got. I do still have to get a connector to be able to weather pack this and we'll uh, probably add some fire foam on the inside of the house to make sure we don't get any water penetrations through the, the building envelope. And then I'll have to get a connector to be able to hook conduit up to this bottom side so we can have waterproof conduit running over to the outside unit itself. Now that he got all of the outside prepped, we are going to get the mini split on the wall and then hook everything else up outside. Now we just have to attach the main wiring from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit.
we are going to feed all the lines through the wall while also trying to hang it on the wall. One thing you should always try to do with mini splits is make sure that the drain hose is on the bottom. That way it's always trying to drain out and make sure that there's no place for it to come up or anything like that for water to get trapped. You want to make sure it always has a downward slope. She's on. Oh, good boy. Drop it. Look at those toes. Guys, look at those toes. Oh my gosh. Obviously, this is not the most aesthetically pleasing, so we're gonna have to figure something out. Comment your ideas, <laughs> because we don't know yet. And yes, yeah, so we're eventually gonna side it so it will be hid in the siding eventually, but until then, when we paint the containers, I know that they make covers. However, I don't know if I'm sold on that, so if you have any other ideas, I would be so happy to hear them. Like we said, we'll eventually level out the backyard and this will have a permanent spot, but for now, she's on some cinder blocks. Now he's gonna hook everything up to the outside unit. I'm hooking up the high and low side AC lines that run from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. Uh, what's nice about these is they come pre-charged so you don't have to worry about charging it. However, you do still need a vacuum pump to be able to vacuum out the lines and the indoor unit that are open before you can open these gas valves and pressurize the rest of the system. So now we get to go on a hunt for the vacuum pump? Yep, my vacuum pump. Luckily, yes. since I'm a mechanic, I have one, but I haven't used it since last summer, so who knows where it is. So let's go! We have the camper out because we're going on a mini float trip typically it's a week long but we're only going for a couple days and like a month if y'all are interested at all in seeing that let us know down below in the comments he found part of it and now he's looking for the other part and we're good to go that actually wasn't as hard as i thought it was going to be so now we have our vacuum pump hooked up to pull a vacuum on the system to make sure there's no moisture or air left in it and then we will close that all up, open the gas valves, and it should be good to go. So after vacuuming the system with the vacuum pump for about 10 or 15 minutes, all you have to do is disconnect the vacuum pump while keeping the valve closed and keeping vacuum in the system. And then you just open the valves on the side of the outdoor unit and it fills itself up because the outdoor unit's already pre-charged. Super easy install, um, and here we go. Right now we have it on heat function because it was a little chilly today. Uh, 
So it basically has a built-in heat pump as well as an air conditioning. So it kind of just reverses the cycle of how it works for it to produce heat inside rather than outside. And then it makes cold outside. It's got a fan, heat, AC, and then a dehumidifying mode. And then it also has Wi-Fi. So I believe you're able to control it with your phone. I haven't downloaded the app yet because we don't have Wi-Fi here yet, but I will let you know as soon as we get that figured out. And one other cool thing that I saw in the manual when I was reading it is it has a auto restart feature. So if the power ever goes out, it basically saves the settings that it was programmed for or last running for, and then turns itself back on with those settings. So if the power goes out and it's hot and you have the AC running, as soon as that power comes back on, the AC is going to turn back on. But that's about it, so we'll see y'all next week.